So this is the July 2023 edition of what I've been writing with lately. This is the reoccurring video series in which I talk about the pens and pencils that I've been using lately. It's not a set of recommendations or reviews. It's just what's been on my desk these days. The summer is always kind of a non-standard time. I'm spending less time at the desk, more time sort of running around and just generally probably using a smaller selection of pens and pencils than I normally would. So there's not a lot here. And also they kind of fit a really common theme. And then that's just reflective of my behavior over the last, uh, in this case, actually two months, as I think I missed last month's video, but jump right into it. First of all, uh, on the go a lot and a nice pen to have if you just need some scribbling here and there is this. This is the Paka pen, that's P-O-K-K-A. -K -K and uh, it is a plastic pen. You buy, I think it's uh, six of them at a time. And I bought a six pack maybe about a, a year and a half ago. I'm still using them. It's a ballpoint pen. So they tend to last a very long time. I have, uh, I wanna say like five uh, ones that look just like this. One like this that I bought the, uh, the metal clip for. They're like Fisher pens where the clip is sold separately or Caveco for that matter. And then I have one all metal one that I don't use that much, but this is something it's, it's not great at the desk, but uh, if you want a pen to keep in the car or throw in a pocket, it's really, uh, it's really a fun option. It's like waterproof. It's neon orange. So it's impossible to miss. It's, I would never use it like this. I always use it capped. In this case, it's pretty comfortable. It's a pretty standard ballpoint. So it's, uh, you know, it writes on almost anything, but the, the writing experience is not like amazing because it is that standard oil-based ballpoint. But again, it, it writes on almost any surface. You could write on wood, glossy materials, like a magazine cover, whatever. It's uh, quite versatile there. So I've been using this one a fair bit. I kind of keep one or two of them in, uh, in the car, things like that. Next up is this. Uh, I've talked many, many times about my love of the Pilot S20. This is their wood retractable ballpoint. Has this really nice shape to it where it's sort of thick here and thin here with a little bit of a flare. Really nice metal work all over. Metal clip that has this sort of wraparound spring type design. Metal top button with a little bit of wood there. It's a really fantastic pen. I've always had it in the sort of like, I think they call the mahogany or the brown or dark brown or something like that. And I saw it maybe two, three months ago. I saw it for sale just completely randomly on uh, in the red wood. It's not red wood, like a redwood tree. It's just red colored wood. They must have, I'd imagine they dyed it. Uh, so I picked one up and I've been using this a lot. Not because I prefer it to the brown. I actually, between the two, I would take the dark brown or whatever I had before, but it kind of uh, got me carrying my S20 again. This is a pen that I, every couple of weeks, I kind of put it down. I use it for a few days. I pick it up, whatever. Sorry. I, you know, I pick it up, use it for a few days, put it down. And uh, one of my most used pens over time. So of all time. So I figured I might as well get another one. I'm using this with the standard refill in it, which is this Pilot. It's the BRF. N-10F. It's this kind of standard acro ink, which is like their high viscosity ballpoint. So they're like super slick, smooth ballpoint, kind of their jet stream equivalent, which is completely adequate. Usually I go with the uh, one size up into the medium to get a little bit extra width, but it's totally great in the F. So that's the S20, Pilot S20 in the red wood. Uh, for a while, I, for a couple of weeks there, I was just super busy and not really a lot of time to like thoughtfully do any writing, just kind of like, just trying to keep track of what was going on or, you know, keep my head above water. And for some reason I had grabbed this pen and it just stuck with me for better part of a month. It was the, the main pen I used. It's the, uh, I forget how to say it. It's like the Loish term or whatever they call the company, 1917, the Der Griffel. And uh, this is a video, a pen I did a video about maybe a year and a half ago because this company is really known for their notebooks. They had never really released a pen. They came out with this. 
And at the time, it was like, yeah, fine. It, it's nice, uh, pretty good looking. But since then, I've been finding myself using it more and more. Uh, I just kind of like the aesthetic. I like this kind of strange yellow color. Not strange, just like non-standard yellow. The mechanism is very nice. Has a really nice turn, turn, turn. And then that it kind of pops in, which is very satisfying. No clip. I don't need a clip most of the time. Uh, but it's hexagonal, so it doesn't really roll. It's on the small side, but it's still quite comfortable. And it has a really nice sort of transition here from hexagonal to round. I don't, I don't know. Uh, it's, a, it's a cool pen. I really like it. And what I did at some point, I can't quite remember when, was I paired it with this. This is the Uniball or Uni Jetstream SXR 600-7, which is the Jetstream ballpoint ink but in a pilot style, or sorry, Parker style refill, which uh, sort of a like holy grail of refills. And I know a lot of people consider this to be one of the best, if not the best uh, ballpoint style ink sold today. And I've been saying that for two, three years, how great this refill is. Now it is on its way out, which is why I've not been using it as much, but I did want to give some kudos to this combination because I it got me through a lot of writing and I was really glad to have it and yeah I think that SXR is on its way out but it served me really well over the past that refill is well over a year old maybe maybe even two years old so and you know honestly truth be told I have a couple backups so this pen will be back in action pretty soon Then we have this Roastring Rapid Pro Ballpoint. It's another kind of, I would say, uh, one of my like sort of mainstay type pens. I know not a lot of people like this relative to the 600. Most people like the 600. Uh, so they don't like the plastic middle of the Rapid Pro. Rapid Pro prices tend to fluctuate a lot. You see this pen anywhere between 18 and like $40 on Amazon. Uh, I don't know the way Roachring or the parent company uh, Newell, the, the way they handle their Amazon pricing is, is bizarre to me, but uh, it is a pen that I legitimately really, really like. It's on the large side. It's a good deal larger than the Roachring 600, but has a nice weight. I find it to be very comfortable to hold, and it's a Parker-style refill, so I usually keep something super smooth in it. In this case, I have this old uh, Visconti Smart Touch. I don't think you could buy these anymore. I think it's basically just a uh, rebranded Easy Flow 9000 broad. I don't know that for a fact, but it kind of writes like that back when the Easy Flows were really good. So I've had this combination together for a long time and I've used it a whole lot. I'm waiting for this refill to run out of steam, and uh, but it's still going quite strong. And I, I really do like, like the two. It's just a solid, large, well-made pen. And over the years, when the kind of the Rapid Pro was first something I started using, I really did prefer the Roachring 600. But as I've spent more and more time with the Rapid Pro, I've really appreciated the larger size more and more. I, I do tend to recommend people, if they're buying their first kind of nice pen, go ahead and get the Roachring 600. I don't think you're going to be disappointed there. But I have found a place in my writing selection for the Rapid Pro. And honestly, I've been increasingly, I've been grabbing it more and more over the years. So I've been using this combination a lot. Uh, just sort of in keeping with the Rapid Pro, I also have this. This is the Rotring Rapid Pro 2.0 millimeter. So it's sort of the, their lead holder version. And it's sort of an interesting uh, combination of a lead holder, like a clutch style pencil and the mechanical pencil. I mean, it's not really a clutch style pencil, except insofar as it uses a 2.0 millimeter refill. Uh, it is just a mechanical pencil that uses a very wide refill. Uh, and I kind of bought it just because it's an oddity. And like I said, the Rapid Pros do have strange price fluctuations. So I picked it up. I don't think it was much more than $20, uh, maybe even less. And uh, yeah, it's fun for kind of note taking and just general use kind of uh, whether you're in the uh, sort of like wood shop or just, you know, doing some uh, or you're like outside type work. It's totally fine for that. 
or just you know jotting down some notes or doodling i find it to be a fun pencil again not one i would like super strongly recommend but if you have a lot of road trains then it's a really fun pickup again it kind of does a nice combination of a clutch style wide lead which you know tends to be dull but you could you know angle your finger your hand a little bit more and kind of sharpen it and then gets dull again just kind of fun to use and a mechanical pencil in that you can push it to extend it you don't have to do the sort of like push down and hold that clutch pencil action so that's the rapid pro 2.0 millimeter lastly this is one uh that i use now and then just for general sort of uh note taking when you're on a phone call or a conference call or something like that i i've been reaching for this one a lot this is the uh stadler or stadler the 425f-9 it's basically a design that is uh, essentially very popular in the mechanical pencil world knurled grip metal body kind of this like mushroom style cap this sort of contoured front it looks like very like a huge number of mechanical pencils but this is a ballpoint and i have it paired with a refill that i like although i tend to find a lot of people don't like it this is the parker gel and the 0.7 millimeter which i think is the medium and this is a, a really wet kind of like loose ball uh gel ink obviously parker is much better known for their ballpoints but i have this in the gel and it's a nice smooth writer, which is fun. And it's paired with this all metal pen. It's not too expensive, so you don't have to worry too much about it. I think it's maybe $16, or something like that. I can't re quite recall. And the price has probably increased a lot since I bought it. It's typical of a metal pen like this. But, uh, and it's not super common, I'll say, but uh, nice click action. Very satisfying. You don't really feel any of that metal on metal sliding it's nice and smooth and it really clicks in quite nicely really clean knurling on it did a really cool job this end piece is also knurled which is nice and this is like i think this is an aluminum probably to a chromed steel but it doesn't bind up it's a little, you know, a little bit squeaky but you could write on that with a little bit of pencil and it takes that away just a cool pencil and again, I, I just get a kick out of this one, so I, I've been using it a fair bit. Uh, uh, it's sort of like if you get these four, sorry, just a cool pen. Anyway, if you get these four pens, they're, they're like extremely similar. You have like all metal, retractable, all metal, retractable with a twist. A uh, This one's not metal, obviously, but again, similar to their size, retractable, and then another kind of like retractable these are all in the same that like 15 to 25 or 15 to 30 dollar sweet spot all of them use a parker style i guess this one doesn't technically use a parker style refill but it basically does anyway it is just like i've been using very similar pens which is probably only an interesting observation if you're a real pen geek but there you have it uh yeah so that pretty much covers it those are the pens and pencils i've been using over the last two months and a pretty small selection, but I think some fun options here. If you were to go out and you wanted to make a purchase of these, I would definitely recommend, if you don't already have one, the Pilot S20, just one of my Hall of Fame pens. And then uh, I do like that Rapid Pro ballpoint a lot. Again, I know most people prefer the Rotring 600, but I think the Rapid Pro is, uh, is a fun pen to have as well, and an interesting counterpart to that 600. So. That pretty much covers it. Thanks for watching.